All right, so we have... <laughs> this is like the unboxing on steroids. We got a plane before it was released, right? Yeah, so this is a new series of jets from Motion RC. Yeah. Um, or free wing. Free wing, free yeah, wing. free wing more specifically, sold by Motion RC. And they just received a container of these today. They sent us a model um, a little bit ahead of time. Yeah. And we've had a chance so, to put it together. We have not had the chance to fly it. So Josh here yeah. <laughs> is gonna go, fly Josh. it. I would say that this is the only one in the United States, but that's not true because the, 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 container, container. the container arrived today. Here's the sad but. thing. We got, got some, we got some serious one. wind going on. We got some serious and, wind. And a large we, mound. We got a dirt mound that I gotta climb over with this. The problem is, is that the weather's been sketchy all week. Oh. <laughs> I got it! I got it! Oh my god! <laughs> Is a hundred bucks. Hundred dollar jet. $100 yeah, I think jet. they're going for like ninety nine hundred bucks on yeah. these. It's a sixty four millimeter EDF um, and a really nice detailed model. That's what Free Wings kind of known for <clears throat> is making detailed scale models. It's light too. Uh, you, you guys probably know we don't do a ton of really. EDF jets. No, uh, we've done we a couple in the past, but right. not a ton. Um, but we've Actually, been now with the latest. We've been uh, seeing these Motion RC products come out, and they have some sick products. They do. They got a crazy A10. Our, bu our buddy Adam Woodworth actually put a Nerf yes. gun in one of those. <laughs> it, they're huge. They use twin 90 millimeter. And for those of you guys that don't know what an EDF is, it is a jet, but it actually it doesn't have a jet engine in it. It has an electric motor, just like on our normal planes, and it has a little duct. It's kind of like the same concept as a jet ski. <laughs> so it's really windy. It's, yeah. Do you think it's too windy? It's no, really windy. No, of course it's never, not too, too, never windy. too windy. To right, let's find out what happens. So, Here we go. EDF test number one. We got the free wing. What model jet is this? Uh, this is the F8. 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 Just F8. chuck that jet like a football. Get up, get up. Yeah! <laughs> let's go! Dude! <laughs> it's a tiny little jet. Look at that jet. Oh, uh, sketchcity.com. <laughs> I love it! Yes! This is awesome! Whoa! I cannot roll right on this. I can't believe it's flying in this wind. Do you see it down there? That's funny. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> Damn! I hit the high nose then. I was trying to give you an idea. Here we go. <laughs> It's just a tiny little dot. It goes so far away so fast. Okay, let's just reiterate. $99. Yeah, dude. And the thing's got some heft to it. Like, it doesn't feel like you're going to touch it and it's going to go... <laughs> All right, so we got a package. We got a sweet package. It's big and sweet, and it has one of our favorite logos on it. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good logo, and just look <laughs> at this. Look at that logo. I love that. I just love it. But dude, great for this. I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna geez, open this, dude. Because nobody knows what's in here. That's a work. Nobody knows. Well, I mean, I know what's in here. So a lot of you guys know that we do a lot of 3D printing these days, and Lulzbot is definitely like our favorite printer of choice. That's what Chad uses yeah. in the back. Chad actually isn't feeling well right now, so we're gonna open his toys for him. <laughs> Ooh, there's tools in here. Tools. But this is what I want to see. This is exactly what I wanted. Nice, dude. dude look. It's like the mini-me version of our big Lulzbot. <laughs> Ooh, mini Lulzbot. It's a mini Lulzbot. So, yeah, this is a Lulzbot mini. Ooh. And now, like I said, we already have multiple Lulzbot Taz 6s in the back, which are phenomenal. They're just nice. But this Lulzbot oh, mini, we have uh, some special intentions with this guy. Um, you guys can take a guess as to what that might possibly be. Make it Look at this. Make it Look at this. Ah. How's that feel in your hands? How's this feeling? We're gonna need bigger wings. <laughs> so if you guessed it right, that is true. We are going to make a 3D printer fly. Try to. We're gonna try to. No guarantees. Got so, some weight. So here's huh? here's the goal. We want a 3D printer. You know that 3D motor everyone's been asking about? Yes. We This is kind of what started this. We want to fly the 3D motor while it helps to fly a 3D printer while yes. it's printing 3D parts. And the plane needs to be built out of a lot of 3D printed parts. Yes. Agreed. Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> Let me just feel like... Oh! It's... 
Actually, not as he it's not, heavy. Don't yes, get me wrong. It is. It's definitely heavy, but it's not as heavy as I was expecting. Correct. I hope we don't crash this. this. That's for the filament. Yeah, this is for the filament. So this I pops like, up here. It, it looks professional, but there's still so much 3D printed stuff on it. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of cool. Love that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you're right. That's not. It's not that bad. I mean, you, we made a cinder block fly. The thing is, is, is like, I didn't care if the cinder block crashed. Yes, this is true. So, long story short, we got a Lulz Bot Mini. We're gonna yes. make it fly. Yes. If you guys have any ideas as to how to go about this, uh, we're, we're going airplane. We're not cheating, so we have learned over the years that you can make anything fly as a quadcopter. Obviously, that's yeah. easy. You get four motors that are big enough, you can fly. I mean, they're flying people around with quadcopters, so we want to defy the laws of gravity with an airfoil, with wings and uh, we're gonna do it for this. So if you have any ideas for like different airplane designs or different techniques that we could How use to make this baby fly. Theme. So let us know if you have any ideas for theme or thoughts down below in the comments. And uh, thank you, Lulzbot. Thanks to Lulzbot. Yeah. Uh, we actually approached them, we're like, hey, we wanna make a 3D printer fly. And they're just like, heck yeah, let's do it. It's, it's really awesome. It's, it's a really cool company and they're doing a lot of cool stuff, obviously with 3D printers, but also stuff like STEM, mm -hmm. things like that. They hooked up uh, Jake Marshall's class with uh, 3D printers as well, yeah. yep. which is pretty cool. So you can check their website out in the, in the links below. It's this is honestly like the one that we have the bigger ones that we have are good for like you know 3d printed planes we love the gremlins yes. yeah can you tell yeah um, but uh, oh a new shirt new shirt Woo! Uh, this is the perfect size for printing the components for even like your race quads like yes. antenna holders yeah. the gopro holders this is like an all-around size which is pretty cool so thank you to Lowe's Bot once again you guys rock let us know in the comments and we'll get this thing flying let's do this we gotta definitely visit this in a video, but I heard something like these actually don't have like a three minute flight time like most mini jets do. Doesn't it have like a seven minute flight time? I don't know. We'll yeah, put it to the test. Like this is just a first experience, but wow, does it fly nice. I can't wait to try it in low And wind. it's like 25 mile an hour wind. It's, I was a little worried about that landing, but it landed fine. It's a belly lander, obviously. Yeah. What size EDF? 64 millimeters. So they put cheater plates in the back, which really helped out a lot. A lot of times when you see like these Chinese uh, EDFs, they don't they don't breathe right. And uh, with uh, motion, they've been helping us with uh, getting like a power pack ducted fan. They know all about like inlets and exhausts and stuff. So obviously they did the homework. But <clears> I've never even plenty seen of power. Yeah, yeah. yeah you ever crazy. seen inside we'll the throw hatch? it again. Do you want to? Were, were you ever full throttle? Yeah. Were you? Yeah, I was, I was cruising around. Yeah. But it seemed like you were home. No problem. Sorry, you can barely see it <laughs> on camera. <laughs> it doesn't lack for power, man. I wonder if I can go vertical. I bet you I can go vertical. Yeah, and also thanks to Bob for putting this plane together yesterday. Bob Parmley killed Bob it. Bob Parmley crushed it. Bob puts a lot of He does. Oh, yeah. How many did we get? Just one? Just one. Oh, bummer. The <laughs> container arrived though. Maybe we can get some more. Yeah, we want more. Yeah, watch how you do this the land. Coming in hot for a landing. Not here though. I don't want to <laughs> I love the fact they didn't pick like a, a, a jet you see every day. Yeah, it's definitely a different one. <laughs> that was a sick lady. You can also, see it it, I won't lie, the wind's pretty sketchy. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess a good question is, is like, we did a video on their Tiger Cat, yeah. which is a very different aircraft yeah. and much more advanced. Yeah. Yes. Where does this lay in like the well, beginner to advanced? Or maybe we should save that for the review. I think we'll save it for the review. But here's the thing: is we love everything that flies, but you know, one of the things that we like to do is get people into stuff. And you can't get someone into a $400 or a $300, you know, huge monstrous warbird. But 100 bucks, this was right up our alley. So we really wanted to see it from the get-go. They were nice, they sent one out to us. So we'll do a review on it. We'll, we'll place it there. You know, I can say I like it, but we need to like step in, you fly it, to oh see boy. where the skill set is, but. I'm down to try it after the review. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Leave us a comment for when we do the full review on this thing. Yes. Let us know if there's anything specific you want to see about the plane. Uh, if there's anything you want to see us do with the plane, some kind of challenge, like yes. maybe make Stefan fly inverted <laughs> as low as possible. That's, that has to be a bad situation. Uh, <laughs> some... <laughs> okay, you can do it. It just sounds terrible. <laughs> I got it. Here you go, buddy. Anyways, if you if you didn't notice, yeah, this uh, vlog segment is brought to you by hats. <laughs> brought to you by hats. I can't, dude. Get the hat on my head. It doesn't even you, fit. Hey, hey, if, hey, if a lot of you can't tell, I got a big noggin. 
<laughs> Just look at that thing. Dude. But this is our new flex fit hat. Yeah, dude. The old version of it had Velcro, now it doesn't, and I'm it actually it fits on the head. So you got the gremlin on the, on the backward side of thing. Just to put it in perspective for flying par paramotors, Josh had to custom fabricate a helmet for me. <laughs> yes, yes he did. <laughs> because the triple XL was, a, was it wasn't small. cutting it. it was too and they were like small. tweaking it. And, oh yeah, God, they they sanded right. it out. Anyways, hats.com, check it out. Alrighty, we are in a warehouse. Oh my gosh. We are in a warehouse right now. We got our buddy Miles. What's up, Miles? What's up? We are loading a truck. This might look familiar from a vlog from many months ago. Last time we were here is when we were loading up for Flight Fest West. And now we are loading up for Flight Fest South. It's going well. It's going I'd say, it's going I'd say well. out of scale 10, it's probably going about 6.5. 6 out of 10. If this works, it's at least a seven. See, we have about 30 pallets of stuff. Actually, technically, we have about 33 pallets of things, and we're trying to figure out how to turn 33 pallets into 30 pallets so we can fit them all in this truck. Here in those planes, we have uh, we have whatever's in that box, a bunch of lights. Chad, this is his toolbox, which comes complete with a mini quad, fat shark, skateboard wheels, pretty much anything you could ever need when you go to a flight fest. And then we have a paramotor we're gonna be bringing. We shoved it in there. We shoved everything that we had yes. into a semi truck and we're gonna go take it to Florida. Thanks mm -hmm. to our buddy Miles, he's driving. Miles is the man. So he really came through in a pinch. If you guys haven't registered yet, make sure you do so. You can find the registration link down below or just go to flightfest.com. Uh, Flight Fest is coming to Florida. I brought my mini Mustang, which is still flying great. Bringing the one wheel. Bringing the one wheel. We got <laughs> long boards, we got little tex plane. Might be bringing my mustache, I'm not sure. <laughs> doubtful, doubtful. Don't he's already so. talking about shaving it, which isn't cool at all. <laughs> And actually, later in this video, he might already have his beard back, just like truth, magical. Bing. So anyways, we're gonna head back to the shop now and see what's going on. Let's do it. Yeah. 